Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So doing an all keys lost on a VW is like trying to put a puzzle together without all the pieces in front of you. You don't know whether if you can do the procedure via OBD, you don't know when you can do it where you have to take out the body control module, or in this case, we're gonna be taking out the cluster. So if you're new to this, I think you're gonna like this one because today I'm gonna be showing you how to do an all keys lost on a 2014 Jetta with the IM608 Pro. Okay, and for those who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Curtis Harden. I'm an Autel Diagnostic Consultant. I sell this tool and I offer the one-on-one -on -one training that you're going to be seeing in this presentation. So if you're in the market and you're serious, book a consultation at my website, and you know I'll be more than happy to assist you. Because if you think about it. Not getting a consultation is like not getting a second opinion from a doctor. That little piece of information could make you a world of difference, okay? So make your booking. All right, so let's go over things you're going to learn in this presentation. So the tools required to complete this procedure. Then removal instructions of the instrument cluster. Proper connection and setup. Step-by-step -step instructions and on how to do the all key loss procedure okay so here's some terminology the 24c64 chip all this is is a memory device that's located inside the instrument cluster once you open up the cluster you'll see that memory device there and you, it's, it's, already, it's labeled there so that's how you know what it is you just look on the chip and you'll see it there okay Next term, in-circuit programming. So connecting to an EEPROM without removing or resoldering from the circuit board, okay? So you know normally when we're trying to get any type of EEPROM data, uh, it requires us to solder, solder the, uh, the, the XP400 wires to the circuit board. This procedure, it's not mandatory, okay? You can just clamp it right on there and you'll be able to read that um, a memory device okay the next thing I want you to learn is EEPROM component slot so this holds the EEPROM plug in the transponder or EEPROM socket okay and this is on your XP 400 okay and then here we have the VAG emo generations emo 1 2 3 4 and 5 and you can see we're going to be doing emo 4 instrument can okay um, so let's go ahead and move on over to the tools required for this procedure okay so first is the IM608 Pro your XP400 your APA103 cable your screwdriver your removal wedge and your blank key okay so let's go ahead step number one identify the vehicle via OBD so, all right, so we're going to click Emo and accept, and we're going to locate the VAG icon. And once that is identified, we're going to select Expert Mode. Okay, Expert Mode gives us a bunch of options. So, on the upper left hand corner, you'll see Emo 4 Instrument Clan. We're going to go ahead and select that one. Okay. And since we don't know, uh, I guess, what chip it is, we're going to have the Autel identify it for us. Okay. So we click Auto Detect and let it do its magic. All right. So that's done. Now we're going to go to our first step. Okay. Which is to back up the ABS coding via OBD. Okay. And to initialize this sequence, we're going to select all keys lost dump mode. All right. So we're going to do that. Now, let me just stress something here. All right. When we're doing this particular sequence, it's important that we don't interrupt the process. Okay. Meaning what you're going to be doing is certain sequences we're going to be doing via OBD. Other sequences we're going to be uh, on the bench. And while we're doing this transition from OBD to bench, 
we can't like exit out this screen. We just have to follow that whole process. Okay. And I'll prompt you when we need to take, uh, when we need to go to the bench. So to initiate this, let's go ahead and click start. All right, it says executing. All right, then backup ABS coding. That was successful. All right, then go to the next step. All right, so for this operation, please use the programmer for chip read and write. The ongoing process is not interruptible. An improper oper operation will damage the chip. So this is basically what I said, okay? This is just telling us that we need to take out the instrument cluster, okay? Remove the 20... 464 chip and place it on the programmer. So we're doing in-circuit programming, so there's no need to take out this chip, okay? So remove cluster from vehicle. So here are the steps that we need to do. And the first thing you wanna do is turn off the ignition and move the steering uh, wheel to its lowest position and um, use that wedge to you know delicately pull out the instrument cluster, okay? All right, so you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this. All right, and then once that's done, I'm gonna show you how to connect, okay, uh, via bench, okay? So you can see here we have your IM608 tablet. It's directly connected via USB cable to the XP400, okay? And then if you look at the uh, XP400, you can see how we're gonna connect it, okay? And then let's go ahead and move on over to the uh, instrument cluster, and we're gonna clamp that right on top of the memory device. Got it? Okay, so once you have that established on the bench, we're gonna read and write EEPROM data on the bench okay so we're going to click ok we're all set up we're ready to go and it's asking us do we want to save the eprom data of the original file so let's go ahead and click yes just in case something catastrophic happens <laughs> okay so that's saved now read eprom data via programmer and we're just gonna let the autel do its thing okay I think the programmer programmer is reading EEPROM data. Okay, that's done. Now write EEPROM via programmer. Connecting via programmer. Okay, now it's writing the EEPROM data of service mode. Okay, it's a service mode file. All right, and uh, once that's done, it's gonna move on to the next one, which is gonna take us back to the vehicle, okay? So this is telling us to uh, basically put everything back in its place, and um, it says make OBD connector correctly connected and turn the ignition switch to on, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then, Click OK. All right. Uh, let me go here. All right, so these are the instructions that are in reverse. OK. So once that's done, we're going to OBD write original EEPROM, all right, through the OBD. Okay, so we're gonna click OK. All right, entering programming mode. This may take a while, so this this probably will take some time. Okay, but I just sped it up for uh, demonstration purposes. Okay, now if you think about it, guys, we actually did the hardest part, okay, and that was you know, removing the cluster and taking out to load, taking the cluster, disassembling it and uh, locating that mem memory device chip. Okay. Everything after that is just memorizing, you know, this sequence when you take it off 
um, the car on the bench and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty automatic, okay? So once that's done, we're going to click OK. Read Emo Data to Learn Key. All right, so we're still on the vehicle. Okay. All right, we're going to let that get to, we'll wait till it gets to 100%. We're at 70. And then on the next screen, it's going to give us a summary of everything that it pulled out. So it got the VIN, the PIN code, the CS code, which we need. And uh, from here, we can click OK. All right, now it's telling us to put a blank key in the XP400 keyhole and press OK. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, is there a any key that needs to be made a dealer key? We're going to click yes. All right, now our keys are pre-coded. So it's going to do the learn key. So turn the ignition switch to on. Does the vehicle have a keyless go system? In this case, it does not. Okay. All right, and it's asking us how many keys needs to be learned to the system. We're going to click Two. All right, it's not mandatory, but in this uh, case study, it needs to. And it says here we need to do this in a timely fashion. So once you follow this procedure, the auto will detect, and you'll see right there, it says two out of two. Once you did both keys, and it'll move on to the next screen. Okay, so key learning is complete. Okay, turn ignition off, and then wait for five seconds and then turn it back on okay and then we're going to go on to the last step all right the last step is restore abs coding okay so i'm going to click continue and we're going to let the autel do its thing okay restore abs coding and that is it you guys okay it wasn't too too difficult okay so, in summary, all right, remember, it's important to auto tech the chip, okay, because, you know, we're just starting off, we're not going to know these things off the bat. And then, when you're doing the all keys lost, make sure you start off the first procedure with the ABS coding um, via OBD. Once you get that ABS coding, the second step, we have to do it on the bench. So, we're going to take out the cluster, connect to the XP400 to read the memory device okay after we read it all right while still on the bench we're going to write it the file back all right the serve file back while on the bench once that's done we're going to go back to the vehicle put the cluster back and write the service file via obd then we're going to go read the emo data via obd and then we're going to make the dealer key and then lastly we're going to do the abs backup coding okay so that's it you guys um i really really hope you enjoyed this presentation and uh with your support i can continue making these videos so feel free to comment like and subscribe and with that i will see you guys next week okay take care